Welcome to the EOS Livecast. Let's go. Morning, 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 morning. What you are about to hear is not music. Try ready. It's so much more. Let's go. Your pilots on this journey are Matt Moore and DJ Drew. Welcome aboard to the EOS Livecast. Hey, what's up, guys? This is EOS Livecast. We go live each and every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm here with Robert Cervantes. What's up, bro? Nothing much, man. How's it going with you? Good, good, you? Good. Um, thank you guys for having me. Anytime, anytime, bro. Hey, so tell me, how'd you get into being a DJ? Well, um, for as far as I can remember, I always had a love for the music. So uh, growing up watching people like Tiesto and Paul Van Dyke uh, through YouTube, it really inspired me to you know, take the love for the music and be the person providing it. So lucky for me, I had an, old, an older cousin who was a DJ. So mm-hmm. he taught me how to beat match and you know, really the basics. And from there, I just took it on my own. There you go. And now you, where you're at right now, right? Now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you're at EOS. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to continue your show with a mix by Matt Moore. Let's get into the mix. And we're back. This is EOS Livecast. I'm here with Roberto Cervantes. Did I say that one right? You did, man. Congrats. So it's, it's either Robert or Roberto? <laughs> Preferably Roberto. For, <laughs> that's a tongue twister for me. So Roberto, I got you. I got you. Okay. How long have you been DJing for? Um, since late 2007. Uh, I started off uh, just learning in an apartment and then taking it to house parties and then all ages at the clubs and then, you know. What, did, what inspired you to be a DJ? Uh, man, uh, really just watching the big names. Mm-hmm. And uh, I seriously sat there and said, I want to do that too. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. And I started doing it and it became, you know, my number one passion. There you go. How, what makes the Roberto Robert style? <laughs> uh, really, it's just uh, you never know what to expect. You know, like uh, since I do a lot of mashups and a lot of edits, you think a, a song is going one way. And then, you know, it's vocals from a different song that you love. And it's just crazy. And uh, I usually like to play a lot of, um, you know, uh, high energy type like electro progressive mm-hmm. and all that. I mean, I love playing, you know, tech and deep and all that yeah. all the time, too. But, you know, that's really like my main focus. You know, So like, you're mainly you know, a house DJ. Right. You have you tried open format? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you want no. to try open format? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what turntables are? Uh, the round thing. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, tell me where have you spun at? Um, I spun at you know a couple of places in downtown like uh, Nocturnal Space, uh, Mecca used to be called Metropolis too. Um, uh, along the beach at Inc and Cameo and actually last week I played in in Mokai for the first time and mm-hmm. you know that was a lot of fun how was that it was uh, it was an experience funny uh, because it it was more of an open format party so mm-hmm. I had to play you know more commercial than I usually do and um you know, uh, mashups that have, like, hip-hop vocals mm-hmm. on it on top of, like, a house track. So, I mean, it, it was a good experience. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, that's, uh, you know, honestly, that's a tough question because um, this this industry is very up and down. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't want to say that I'm going to be here or I'm going to be there because who knows, really. Uh, what I do know for a fact, though, is regardless of uh, my status as a DJ in five years, I'm still going to be going at it, you know, still going to be uh, hitting up the production and all that. So and just, you know, try to have fun with it. As long as it's fun, it's uh, I'll be doing that. Where do you aim to spin at? Do you Are you aiming to be at the next Ultra? Are you aiming to of be course. at EDC? I mean, uh, being a Miami DJ and learning and doing everything here, you know, you see Ultra as like a high mark. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the biggest festival that goes on here. So that's where you want to be. But aside from that, I I would just really love to uh, have this as a living and be able to spin all over the world. Mm-hmm. You know, um, last year was the first time that I ever had like an out of cu- out of the country gig in uh, Dominican Republic. Oh, how was that? So that was uh, a lot of fun and a lot of not fun. It was, um, like I said, it was the first time I had an out of country gig, but it was also the first time I had like food poisoning. Whoa, that yeah. sucks. So, I mean, uh, luckily for me, it happened after uh, mm-hmm. all the shows. So, I mean, it, it didn't affect been, anything. Yeah, it, it wasn't as worse as it could have been. There you go. Where do you, where do you, where do you want to aim to? out of miami like orlando do you want to go to tampa do you want to um, go or do you want to go like out of florida man pr- oh, just everywhere really i mean mm. i also spun this year in orlando too for the first time and um i've played in tallahassee before and you know it's just it, it's crazy because 
um, everybody, every city has like their own like you know thing mm -hmm. that you once you you get it and that's what you start playing and the crowd just eats it up. So that's it's a really really big learning experience for me and like for any DJ that would actually get to do that. But you know, spinning outside of Florida would be a lot of fun. Of course, in New York, it's mm -hmm. you know one of the biggest cities in in the U.S. and also mm -hmm. California and you know all the other cities that are growing mm -hmm. as far as the ADM scene goes. There you go. There you have it from Roberto Cervantes. Shout out your social media for them. Uh, well, my website at www.djrobertocervantes.com. There you'll find links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my SoundCloud. Uh, pretty much what I'm, what all my plans are doing and what I have set to release, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out our sponsors on Twitter at Fancy Clothing Line CO or catch our technology group at SW Tech Group. Also. Check out all of our graphics done by iGraphics. We are going to be this Friday at Black Friday in DC Shoes. So check us out. We're going to continue the show with a mix by Roberto Cervantes. Let's get into the mix. Let's do it. <laughs> 